here's my concave mirror again. And here are the light waves coming in. Here's my center. Here's my uh, focal length. And what if instead of drawing my tree out here, I draw it on the inside of the focal length. I'm going to move this out of the way. So make it look pretty over there. Let's draw, oh, let's draw my tree right here. I'm now inside the focal length. And let's see if we can ray trace this out. Let's go back to my original line here. So we know that rays that come in parallel have to go through the focus. All right, so this is not too big of a deal here. I know that's going to be. Here we are. So, all right, so the ray that comes in from here to there, it's going that way, has to go through the focus. All right, it goes that way. And now rays that go through the focus, oh man, there's no ray that's coming from the top of the tree through the focus that would hit my lens, hit my uh, mirror. So I have to pretend like it comes from the focus. Now, how do we do that? Well, I'm going to move this around. I'm going to act like I'm coming from the focus here. And hopefully, all right, focus through the middle. Rays that come through the focus. Am I not? Oh no, then uh, there we go. I'm going to pick it a little bit. But rays that come from the focus act like they came from the focus. I'm going to hit my lens and they're going to come out parallel. So let's draw that out. So rays that come from the focus or act like they came from the focus. So they're not really coming from the focus. So I'm going to draw a dotted line. That means they're not really there. So it's going to go out straight, come kind of like this. And now those rays have to come out parallel. So that ray is going that way. And I know rays that come from, uh, what about rays that go through the center, go back on themselves. But I don't have anything that goes through the center, but it can act like it comes from the center. So. I'm going to go this ray that goes like this. When I put my lens, right, that's just going to end up hitting it back. So this is going to be nice and easy there, there. So dot, 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 line, dot, line, dot, line. And then it becomes here, hits, and comes back out. Now, where do they cross? Nowhere. So that means we have to follow them back to see if they do cross. So because again, lines, if they're not really there, you're gonna use a dotted line. So this one goes off that way. So where did it act like it came from? Back that way. This one goes back that way. This one, oh man. A little bit off back that way. That should be a dotted line. And it's not because I've got some paraxial rays. This one, I know this one's paraxial, so that one's just all screwy. So we'll go with these two. They cross right here. So light from the top of the tree gets spread out, but it acts like it's coming from here. There's no light here. There's no light there. Let's see if we can break that up. There we go. There's no light here. No real light there. It should be an H-E-R-E. -E, and I should put it on the camera. There's no real light here. So when I go to draw my tree, I just draw it normally. This is the top of the tree. The bottom tree is the bottom of the tree is on the axis. So let's 
look, my image of my picture of this tree is now larger and spread out, but it's not real. It's what's known as a virtual image. There's no light. So when we are inside the focus on our concave lens, a concave mirror, we end up with an image that is bigger than our original object and it's not real. It's called virtual.